here. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite April Fool's Tease Turn exclusives favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the MMC TFCon Reston exclusive. What are they calling this thing? Colder. Uh, it's just colder again. It's asterisk mode. Uh, okay, it's the Coder Asterix mode. Uh, I'm okay with this. This is on loan to me from Cody. He's here today. He's also from the UK. Uh, what do you call cookies in the UK, Cody? This is crisps. These are chips. No, crisps. Chips? Mm. Crisps. No, next. Crisps? Crisps. Crisps. Got it. American cookie. I know this one. Okay. Cookie? Biscuit. This is also a cookie. No. This is a cookie that looks misleadingly like a cracker. It's a biscuit. This is a biscuit. This is a biscuit. Yeah. This makes biscuits. That's nothing to do with this. This is Bisquick. Have you ever heard of it? it makes yeah. biscuits super fast. You'd, you'd love it. Mm. Questionable. This is a biscuit. This is an American cookie. This is an American cookie. This is a cracker. No. It's too confusing. I'm gonna have a cracker. Huh? That's fine. This is a Trisket. Is this relax. English? You need to relax. This sounds like it would be English. Could be English. Biscuits, isn't that something? Those guys, they are, they, they break all the rules. Anyway, he comes with a couple of accessories. We will get to those. I want to talk about the exclusive nature of this real quick. This is a very kind of niche thing. And that's what I think exclusive should be. So it's not for me. I had no interest in it. I didn't want to pick it up. But I think that that's the way exclusive should be. It should be for a very small pocket audience. I, I used to get upset with stuff like the G.I. Joe stuff where you would have Zorana as like an exclusive. Zorana is a character everybody wants and needs. So it's kind of a bummer that she would be an exclusive. So I think that this is a perfect exclusive. It's just not for me. In terms of choice, we already know the figure's kind of good because we've looked at the Tarn. This doesn't belong to me as, we, as we've already established, so I'm going to be very gentle. It's also an exclusive, so it's hard to come by. I'm going to be very gentle with it in transformation. I'll probably do a lot of cleaning up of the different transformation elements afterward, so just be prepared for that. Of course, I'm going to go from this mode to alt mode because it comes boxed alt mode, and I've already done the alt mode to robot mode transformation with Tarn, so at least this way both transformations are covered on the channel. I know that was a lot of prerequisite information, but let's get to the few accessories. If you'd rather him be a Decepticon, he comes with a Decepticon face. It's the exact same as Tarns, except cast in red, and you have that option. But he comes with the Autobot face, which I think is the more interesting choice, and it does pull out, and then you have, so to speak, and then you have this, like, uh, little one-eyed monster underneath, which is also fine. I thought, I thought I would. There it is. And then we have the dual fusion cannon on the side tons of paint yellow paint that looks good copper paint the copper paint i'm actually blown away by the silver paint it's it's everywhere and these two pieces plug in independently so you, there's a number of different options that you can do with this all right let's talk about them we're going to fly through the articulation we're going to spend a little bit more time on the deco since that's really the new thing here so let's remove the head once again. We have some nice, it's a, it's a unique color too. Like it's nowhere else on the figure, but it's like a deeper copper or a more saturated copper for that one eye in there. And then the nice copper on the sides. The head is on a ball peg and a hinge. So you get all the way up to there, all the way down and the swivel. So no issues whatsoever. Then we have a waist swivel and ab crunch which is nice. We have yellow paint that's done beautifully. Here, 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 and here. All right, orange paint there, but it's still done beautifully. So that's really nice. We have the copper paint on the side pieces here. I'll talk about this now because I'll probably forget to later. This opens up and it has those little missile things in there. We have the shoulders that are on basically on universal joints. They hinge out to about there on a it's like a hinge here and then there's an additional ball peg so i'm not even using the hinge i don't think it's tight some of these joints are really tight on this guy though so i'm going to be a little extra careful but you can get out to there and then you get the swivel so no issues then you have a bicep swivel tight also but fine double hinged elbow once again tight but fine we have the copper paint there and then this like kind of olive green paint 
which looks good as well. It's an interesting look. It was kind of very military esque, yes, Cody and I were saying. And then you have fingers on a base pin knuckle and the index finger is individually articulated. However, it's kind of stuck in the typewriter pose, which we should expect as well. This plugs into either arm, FYI, and the other arm is articulated the same way. For the pelvis, we have the copper paint and yellow paint once again. We have universal joints for the hips, frictioned out to the side, ratchets front and back. Thigh swivel built into the bottom of the universal. Double jointed knees that get you 90 degrees and the knee pads are on a hinge, but they don't really get you much more back. So it doesn't really help much in robot mode, but that's okay. And then we have more paint detailings, the copper paint, the yellow paint, orange, now that's orange plastic throughout, copper on the side as well. Angle tilt up, tilt down, and that's on a, on a hinge. Is it a single hinge? Yeah. And then a rocker here that gets you anything you could possibly dream of. And then a toe hinge. Copper paint there, there, and there. Back of the figure looks fine to me. And we've already done size comparisons with Tarn, so at least we'll take a look at the two side by side. And it is an interesting, it is an interesting look. You know, it is pretty cool to see them side by side. Once again, totally not for me, but you know, interesting. All right, so let's get him transformed. We're going to take off this. We're going to use the ab crunch and kind of open this section up here. Open up this back panel. Hmm. This is a really taut fit. And then we're going to fold that around and fold this back and then fold these to the inside hope you can see that these two bits here and this is actually a well we'll get it cleaned up later this comes up and around for the arms you want to see the screws so to speak so f twist those to this side and then, where is it? You want this peg here on the wrist to plug into the hip, which means you have to fold the elbow to the back and then plug in. We'll do that again on this side. It's a lot easier going to bot mode, I can tell you that. All right, and then these pieces are the tracks. They come out on these poles and then spin down and recollapse. Same for this side, recollapse. And then we're still not pegged in quite properly. But whatever, we'll clean it up later. I don't want to waste too much time with this. Most of us have seen this transformation a thousand times by now. And then we want to fold the tracks to the side here, fold the feet down, flip the legs, and you can probably connect them now. And then this will come down and around. And this has to come down a bit, but I'll clean that all up. But that's the basic motions of it. And then these flip down here. <clears throat> I'll get it cleaned up and we'll take a look at it. And there it is in the tank mode. You know, pretty much the same as before. It does have a, like this copper paint really looks good on the side. I will say that. And it looks good as here. And yeah, you know, the yellow paint, there's a lot of paint here. There is a lot of love here. It is an exclusive, so I feel like it should have that love. I feel like that's something that should come standard with exclusives. But yeah, clean, looks sharp. You know, this bit obviously plugs in to the top, you know, and so forth. And then these can articulate tons of copper and silver paint there. So like, yeah, it, it looks, you know, it looks good. It really does. If, if you kind of like this conceptually, I guess, you know, the good news is it looks good in this mode. Oh, wait, we're not done. Size comparison with Tiger Tracks. 
Final thoughts wise, I like this mold. I liked it with Tarn. I, I like it here as well. Um, for me, collecting always comes down to knowing the character and representing that character on your shelf. And since this character is a very unique thing, it means absolutely nothing to me and I have no interest in it whatsoever. That being said, I think it's the perfect choice for an exclusive. I think it offers an interesting kind of take on the mold and an interesting character that could be used one day. Maybe James Roberts will get a hold of this guy. But I think it, it, it works fairly well. I think the sculpt is good. I think the paint is is actually amazing for MMC. The materials feel good, has a decent enough presence, cleans up as you would expect it to, and the alt mode is okay. How much did this cost you? 110. 110, 110 seems a little steep. But, you know, once again, like we've talked about in the past in some of our, uh, in some of our chats, MMC is a company that doesn't own its own factory, so we have to expect higher prices per pieces, which is a bummer. You know, as we've also talked about, we're not sure MMC has been giving us everything that we've been wanting as of late. With that being said, this pretty much delivers in anything you could possibly want, except for a character that means anything to you. So, if you like this design, or if you are interested in this design, or you like the way it looks, or you think it offers something interesting for your shelf, then I definitely recommend it. There's nothing really wrong with it, other than it has no place in canon. But that's not important to all people, it's important to me. So, is it a recommend? Yes, as long as you want it. There's really nothing negative for me to say about this, other than the joints are a bit tight, so be careful, it isn't exclusive, which means it'll be harder to replace should something go wrong. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, till next time, take care.